Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Blair and today I have kind of a different video. I am sharing with you my everyday makeup container. I have a little acrylic container that sits on my desk that I film with that I use every day. The products in this everyday container are things that I love. So nothing makes it into the everyday makeup container unless I love it. So all the products you're going to see are things that are my go-to products. I reach for these things for my everyday makeup. And I do rotate them every now and then when I find new favorites, but a lot of these things are things that I've loved for a long time. So I hope you enjoy learning about my everyday makeup container. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I just thought it would be fun to show you what I keep on my everyday little makeup container right here. I pretty much keep these products the same until they reach like favorite status and then they will get moved over to my everyday makeup container. Also have my favorite brushes right here and then I have my little mirror and I typically sit here in front of this window to do my makeup just because I like to do my makeup in natural light if I can. Over there is where I typically will move my desk to film my videos but I do move it back over here for every day just so I can do my makeup in front of this window. The first thing I have here is my Sunprise SPF. So I get this from Amazon and this is a really good SPF for under makeup. It is very thin and almost a watery texture so it's not hard to wear under makeup. You can get this. I think it's like eight dollars on Amazon but let me see if I can put some on my hand so you can see. So you can see how liquidy it is. It's very, very thin. As you can see, it just blends right into your skin. And then it's like you don't have anything on. It's my favorite. If I had to pick one, it would be this for under makeup. So I use this SPF every day. I do rotate it sometimes. I have other SPFs that I like. But right now, the Sunprise sunscreen is my favorite. Moving on, we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This pretty, this has not changed really since I got this setting mist. It's kind of just stayed over here. I love this one. It's very affordable. A lot of you have probably tried this already, but it has a super fine mister and has a, it has a smell, but it's not super overpowering. It's really nice. I love this. A lot I use this every single day so it always stays in my everyday makeup container if you've watched my videos for a while this will not surprise you I have the fresh sugar coconut hydrating lip balm over here obviously as you can see I love this I still have backups of it this is another thing that I use pretty much every day multiple times a day. I then have my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. This is the sponge I've been using for the past few months. I have several of these and I just really like this one. It's affordable. I love this pointed kind of a flat side here so you can really use it to blend in your concealer. You can use it for foundation. You can even use it for setting powder under your eyes if you wanted to. This is what I've been using every day for a few months. Next, we have the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is another favorite that I will never be without. You can see I'm almost done with this one. But I do have a backup. I use this every day, no matter what. Even if I don't put any makeup on, I still put this on because it really does 
make a difference in how my under eyes look. And I always have dark circles, always. So I will always use this and this will never leave my everyday makeup container. Next we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Corrector. This is actually the new shade that I just got in my most recent Sephora haul. This is the medium shade and I have absolutely been loving this so I knew this was definitely going to go over to this little container when I started using it. I love this. I don't see this leaving my everyday container anytime in the near future. I love this. I also have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector over here. As you can see, it's getting really hard to even get any product out of here, so I'm about done with this. But I do plan to repurchase this because I use this quite a bit. Sometimes this is a little easier to apply when you're in a hurry with the doe foot applicator. But as you can see, this is very well loved and it always stays over here pretty much. So I need to pick up a new one of these. Next, this is actually something newer that I've recently put over in my everyday little container thing. It's my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. I'm actually about to do a video that's a full face of Bare Minerals. I've recently kind of fallen back in love with this and it's kind of been my everyday choice recently. So I did move this over here. Be on the lookout for a full face of Bare Minerals using the original powder foundation. It should be coming in the next week or so, but I've really been enjoying this for every day. I also have my IT Cosmetics CC Cream over here. This I also use all the time. It just depends on if I'm in the mood for powder or more of a cream product like this. This definitely is a thick product, so sometimes I'm not in the mood for that. Sometimes I just want to put on a little bit of my powder foundation and that's it, but I do keep this over here because I love it, and especially for summertime, I just, I don't know, I really like this product. Like I've said before, I just try not to use too much of this because this is one of those things that can start to look really cakey if you're not careful, but if you use a small amount, this is really great. If you've been here for a while, this will also not be a surprise. I have my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation over here. I use this a lot too. Actually, sometimes I even mix the IT Cosmetics CC Cream with this. Sometimes I put a little bit of this on and I put a little bit of Bare Minerals on top. I just love this product. It's so, so good. Very hard to find these days, but if you can find it, I would highly, highly recommend this. Next, I have my Holy Grail eyelash curler. It's the Surratt Lash Curler. I don't even remember the last time I used another eyelash curler. So this never leaves my everyday container. This is the best. For my lashes, nothing that I found works better than this. It's kind of pricey, but very worth it. In my opinion, you can get this at Sephora, and I love it. Use it every day. I always curl my eyelashes no matter what. So this always stays in my everyday bin. Now we have my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This never changes. This always stays in my everyday makeup container. This is just my favorite brow pencil by far. So I always have this. And I always have these two products, Glossier Boy Brow. This has also been in my everyday bin since I got it a few months ago. I love this. And this is one of my favorite affordable hidden gems. This is the Believe Beauty Clear Brow Gel. I love this brow gel. I will never buy, well, I shouldn't say never, but I don't think I will ever buy another expensive clear brow gel because this is so good and I, I'm i pretty sure it's $4 at Dollar General. This, again, since I got it, has not left 
my everyday bin. I love this. So if you're wanting a new clear brow gel, this one from Believe Beauty is a really good one. Now I have my little pair of Tweezer Man tweezers. This also always lives in my little everyday container. I personally think Tweezer Man tweezers are the best and these are so cute and tiny. Hot pink and they just fit really nice in my little bin. So I always have these on hand. These are really great tweezers. Okay, moving on to some lip products. You'll see I have quite a few lip products over here, but they're all kind of similar. So I obviously have to have my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. This is my go-to for every day. I do switch this up every now and then, but for the most part, this lives over here. And as everyone knows, I love this. It's great color, great everything. I love it for every day. This is newer to me, but I really love these, or this one. This is the only one I have, but it's the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon. This is in the shade Gimme S'mores, and I love these. These are really nice and sheer, but so hydrating. I love this so much. I want to get a few more colors of these. This is my favorite kind of lip product for every day. I love these. If you need something new for your lips with just a little bit of color, these are really great. I also have a mini Buxom White Russian Gloss, and I don't use this every day, but when I do want a lip gloss, I will either use this one or my Milani Keep It Full. This is in the Luminoso shade. I love both of these. This one's a little bit more um, this is a little more peachy pink, whereas the White Russian is a little more of a light pinky nude. I love them both, and these pretty much always stay over here. I love these for summer. Love the color. These are really great. So both great lip glosses. Another lip favorite that, gosh, I've had this original NARS After Glow Balm over here. I don't even know how long it's, I've had this for a while. In fact, I'm probably almost out of this. Yeah, I am. But I love these. I just love tinted lip balms for every day. I don't like to wear lipstick on the daily. If I'm not, if I don't have a reason to wear lipstick, I would rather wear something like this or just a lip gloss or just a lip liner. This is the new NARS Afterglow Balm in the shade Laguna. And this one is obviously a lot more nude. This one is the classic um, orgasm peachy pink shade. This one is very nude. I will say on me, because my lips are kind of naturally really rosy, the nude shade doesn't show up that well on me. I mean, it shows up, but it, it doesn't look as nude on me as it looks in the packaging. But I do like it. And I love the original Afterglow Balm. So I always keep both of these in my everyday makeup bin. Okay, next we have a concealer and obviously I'm a concealer fanatic. So the concealer over here changes quite frequently. <laughs> right now I have the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer over here. This has been my favorite concealer for the last month or so but the concealer definitely changes quite frequently that's in my everyday bin because I have so many and it just kind of depends on what I love and what I'm reaching for all the time and right now it's definitely this one but like I said this changes weekly I always gotta rotate my concealers but right now I'm loving the Pat McGrath one I have three mascaras that I keep over here, the first one is the Glossier, Glossier, am I saying that right? Glossier or Glossier? I'm not sure. This is the Lash Lick. I use this all the time. I like this mascara for an everyday choice because it's not super volumizing or anything. It's just a really good minimal looking mascara 
So it gives your lashes some definition, but it doesn't go overboard. So I love this one for every day. I love this. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I don't use this on my top lashes, but I always use this for my bottom lashes when I apply mascara on them. I always use this. And then for the days I want more dramatic looking eyelashes, lately I've been using the Lancome Monsieur Big. I love this mascara. If you like really thick looking eyelashes and a lot of volume and intensity, you should definitely try this one from Lancome. Next we have an obvious favorite, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is the shade number two. This always stays over here. I pretty much, I apply this almost every day, I would say. So this never leaves and it never will. I love this product. I'm not going to go on and on about it because I've talked about it in so many videos, but I love it and it will always be an everyday favorite for me. Okay, then I keep my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base over here. I love this. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer I think that I've ever used, to be honest. I like this better than the original NARS primer just because I like my eye primers to have a little bit of a tint. This one is in the shade Light. I use this all the time, sometimes by itself, sometimes as my primer if I'm going to put eyeshadow on top, but this, again, since I got this, has been in my everyday little bin here. So, love this. And I have two eyeliners that I use all the time. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Powder Pencil in, I think this is the shade Audrey, but it's a, just a dark brown. It's a pencil that is a powder. So it's a lot like using um, an eyeshadow for eyeliner. So I use this all the time and I've been using the MAC, what is this, the Costa Riche Eye Coal in my waterline pretty much every single day. So I keep both of these over here. Sometimes I just use the MAC in my waterline and that's it. Sometimes I use both. It just depends on the day, but I love both of these pencils. Moving on to what's in the drawers here. So you can't fit a whole lot in these drawers. So the things that are in here are the things that I felt were worthy to fit in these little drawers. So I have two blushes here that I sometimes use both. I use one or the other. It just depends on the day. And then I have the Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. I use this all the time. I love this. This color is the perfect blush color for me. I love it. So I use either this one or my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffused Heat. This is a very similar color actually to Petal Poppin from Fenty, but I love them both and I use them both every day for the most part. In this drawer, we have my go-to bronzer right for right now, although this does switch out quite a bit. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. I love this. I have this on today. I love this on my eyes. I like it on my face. I, I just these hourglass bronzers, hourglass powders in general, I've said it before, but you cannot go wrong with these. And to me, they're worth every single penny. So I love this and I use it all the time. Now I have my hourglass ambient lighting little trio of powders here. I use this constantly, as you can see, pretty much every day. Again, this is a favorite always has been since I got it and I don't think I've ever taken it out of here. It just stays in my everyday makeup. So love this. Use this all the time. I forgot this is also in my everyday makeup. It has been for quite a while. This is one of the Cover FX blush duos in the shade Pink Dahlia. I love this also. I love this one because you have the matte and the shimmer. And this is a great 
pink with just a little bit of a peach undertone. Love this also. I do use this, but lately I've been using the Hourglass and the Fenty a little bit more, but I do love this one from Cover FX too. Next, we have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in the shade number one. I love this. I use this all the time also. Sometimes I use this instead of my Hourglass Powder. It just kind of depends on the day, but I do love this powder. We'll definitely be keeping it over here. And I actually just put this in here yesterday. This is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder in the shade Light. I just got this, but this is a definite favorite for me, so I knew it was gonna go right over here in my everyday makeup. But this, so far, I've only had it for about a week, but I have been loving, loving this. So definitely we'll be keeping it over here for the foreseeable future. And last but not least, we have one eyeshadow palette. I do switch this out sometimes, but for the most part, it's the Tartlet and Bloom palette that stays over here. I've talked about this before, but this is just, I just love this palette. I have it on today, and this is just the easiest, quickest palette that I use all the time. I use it the most in my makeup collection by far, so. I always keep this over here for the most part. Last but not least, we have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. I love this. I don't use the powder highlight all the time, but when I do for every day, this is the one that I use. I love this. So that's it for makeup, and I don't use every single one of those products every single day, but those are the things I use the most for every day. So I figured I'm not gonna go through all of these brushes. I'll just kind of pull out the ones that I use the most if I had to pick. So I know you guys have seen me use this. This is the Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush. I use this all the time, so this always stays over here in my little brush container for every day. Love this one. I use this brush from BK Beauty. It's the 103 bronzer brush pretty much every day. So this always stays in this little cup. I love, you'll see I have a lot of BK Beauty brushes over here because those I really love and I use those all the time. I also have this IT Cosmetics number no. seven brush that's double ended. I use this for corrector sometimes or concealer, and then I actually like this end for cream bronzers. I don't know why, but I've really been liking to use this end for like my Chanel cream bronzer or the Fenty cream bronzer. Something about the shape and the size of this just works really well, so I do use this quite a bit. I also use this brush a ton. This is from BK Beauty. It's the 102 powder brush. It's a really big fluffy powder brush, but this is what I use to lightly apply powder on my face when I do use powder. Love this one. I also have my Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Foundation Brush. I love this one. And this I use for cream products. I use it for powder sometimes. I really love this. So I use this all the time. It always stays over there. I have some BK Beauty eye brushes over here too. This one I probably use the most for every day. It's the 201 um, Shadow Brush. It's a really big, fluffy crease brush. So I use this all the time. When I apply a powder highlight, I use this one. The Anastasia A23 Highlight Brush. So I always have that over here. I do sometimes use these two for my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. So I keep these here. This is a Too Faced Kabuki brush, and this is the Bare Minerals Beautiful Finish brush. I also keep this over here all the time so I can wipe my brushes off in between using them for eyeshadow. This is from Sephora, and it wasn't very expensive. I forget, it was like 10 or $15, but I use this all the time. It's just really easy and quick to wipe your brushes off real fast. 
And then the rest of these are things I really like too. I have Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I have some more BK Beauty brushes. I have, let's see, an Eco Tools Shadow Brush. I have a Morphe Shadow Brush. And I have a few more Smashbox brushes over here and a Sephora powder brush that I really like. But that is my everyday makeup essentials. I hope you guys like this video and I hope this is interesting. I love to see what people use for their everyday products just because I feel like that's a great way to find out what people really, really gravitate towards. So I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.